everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise and most of you know I'm starting nursing school starting June at Columbia University. That is super soon and I'm so excited but a little bit scared that I'm going to be moving in less than a week from all the way from California to New York City. So today we'll be talking about all the preparations that you need to do before starting nursing school. So the first thing you need to do is do the CPR and the BLS for healthcare providers. I chose to do it through a Red Cross because there was a hybrid version that really fits into my time schedule. So I spent roughly two hours online just learning how to do chest compressions, CPR, and the correct procedure for asking for help and doing chest compressions for adults, infants. They also gave a lot of information about choking and how to help your patients through that. So I thought it was really helpful. But after you complete the online version, you choose the time you can go into class with a real instructor and you perform chest compressions. Obviously, on mannequins and not on real people. So yeah, and it only took roughly three hours and then I was CPR certified. So yeah, that was fun. So second thing you need to do is to do body physicals and immunization. So all the schools obviously want you to be in your best shape possible for your own safety and for the safety of your patients. So you do need to go into a healthcare provider, whether it's PA, NP, or MD, to get your body physical checked up on and then any vaccines that you need to touch up upon. So I had to do some titers on some immunization and that did take a little bit of time, so don't procrastinate all the way to the week before your school starts to do that. Well, third up, and my absolute favorite part in preparing for nursing school was getting the supplies. So for my school, I had to get a couple supplies. So first up, I had to get a stethoscope. I ended up getting the Littman Cardiology stethoscope. It is on the pricier end, it's around $170, but I thought of it as an investment since I'll be using it for the next 5, 10, 15 years of my life, so I thought it would be good. And I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes when I'm using my other stethoscope, I always mishear things. I think that an external sound in my surrounding is actually what I'm hearing in the stethoscope. So hopefully it will be so much better with this. <laughs> yeah, so I ended up getting a Caribbean blue stethoscope. I am super excited about this. I know most stethoscopes are black and like navy blue since these are the colors that most people like to get. So I thought this will pop out the most. So yeah, I actually also got it engraved as well over here. And yeah, it almost feels like I'm playing doctor or playing nurse practitioner, but it's all really exciting. <laughs> so next up, I had to get two tuning forks and with two different frequencies, so this one is 128 and this one is 512. The next thing I had to get is the tape measure and the pen light and also the reflex hammer. I actually went to my whole family and I was just hitting their knee and just making sure they all have good reflexes. I'm gonna just keep this on because it makes me look a little bit more professional. So the fourth point I want to talk about is mental preparation. This is really important because you're going into a nursing program, you're going into a medical program for the next couple of years and it determines your future career. It is really important to go into the program with an open mind and a positive energy so you can learn as much as possible and actively search for answers and everything that you learn in class may affect your patient in some way or another so it's really important to take initiative and be active and not just slack off. I'm really excited about going into nursing school and really dive into everything that I'm so passionate about. I think it's really important to have a strong support system with you, whether it's your family or your friends. It's really important that they understand and are there for you when you are stressed during nursing school or other medical programs, since it's gonna be a really tough next few years trying to get through all the studying and all the exams. So prior to nursing school, you should make sure that you prioritize all the times with them and make sure that you are spending as much time with them as possible since when school starts, life is gonna be hectic and it's gonna be hard to spend time with your family and friends. So yeah, make use of that prior to nursing school. So step number five, this is something I really, really, really struggle with and this is preparing your body to wake up early. 
I sleep really late, so 2 to 3 a.m. And then I wake up pretty late, like 11, 12. If possible, I could sleep all day. And I'm trying to change it because we will be waking up really early for nursing school. So maybe like 6, 7 a.m. And that's going to be a really hard transition for me from just uh, non-stop sleeping. Yeah, for all of you morning people out there, I am so jealous and I wish I was you. So to all the other night owls out there, I think it's really important to wake up an hour earlier than your usual wake up time. And then a couple weeks before, you wake up two hours earlier and then three hours earlier. Just kind of slowly ease into it. I know, I should probably start doing that tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. And lastly, just be super excited. You're going to nursing school, you're gonna change some lives, you're gonna make a difference, and it's gonna be life-changing, for the better, of course. You're gonna make awesome new friends and build connections with all the faculties and build relationship with your patients, doctors, and nurses at the clinicals you're gonna be volunteering in. It's gonna be super life-changing and amazing, so just live in the moment and not stress out too much. I know it's gonna be hard since the amount of workload is gonna be intense, but it's all going to be worth it at the end, so but just be excited. Clearly, I haven't had it all figured out yet, so if there's any tips that you have starting nursing school, what you're doing to prepare for nursing school, please share that with me, and I am excited to hear from all of you. And thank you for watching, and see you next time.